then we are seeing each and every day different case and the result of the low mh patients are also so good if we are giving the pre treatment during our cycles which embryo what size what are the outcomes So good evening. I'm Dr. Asta Gupta from Delhi IVF and Fertility Center. Uh, today we have Dr. Shobika Singh with us, and uh, she has completed the uh, six-month ART fellowship program from Delhi IVF and Fertility Center. And today she will share her experience with us. Uh, actually, it was a very nice journey for me. Those uh, six months were like a part of the family which I've got in Delhi IVF. In the first two months, I started my course basically with the OPD history taking and all the uh, interventions which can be done during our OPD. What all are the and especially the counseling part, which is very important, especially in the IVF patients because which is mostly neglected at other places. Which I learned from here the counseling part, the OPD history taking, various protocols, the agonist, antagonist, short flare protocol. OCP protocol and the various low AMS protocols which are there for the uh, adjuvant therapies, the androgen gel, DHEA, and various other treatments which are being provided at this center for the low AMS patients. Mm -hmm. And the result of the low AMS patients are also so good if we are giving the pre-treatment during our cycles, mm -hmm. which helped our lot of patients during yeah. the treatment over here. And uh, the especially the OT procedures which I learned from here were the pickups, hysteroscopies, all the interventions which are done during the embryo transfer also, mm. and especially the lab part also. I was able to learn the labs. There was exposure. Even I was allowed to go in the lab to see the embryos. I could make out this. This is blastocyst. This is day three transfer. Because until and unless you go and see. You are not able to learn the embryology part, so this is the best part of the center. They can you you can actually go and see in the lab what is happening and how you can even grade the that if we are transferring this grade of the embryo, then what is the result of that pregnancy? That if if the follicle size is sixteen to eighteen mm, mm -hmm. so that follicles when we aspirated in the OT, how was the quality of the embryo formed, and what were the result after that? Uh, pregnancy so we could actually learn that which embryo what size what are the outcomes so you can there's a long learning curve from the history taking till the pregnancy outcome which is all the things are there at one center and even the complications and how to handle them each and everything is very important and this is this was the best part that everything is there at one place so now we she is working as a consultant junior consultant with us in our center and what do you think about the surgical aspect do you think we learned about the endoscopy part and yes. the overall comprehensive the antenatal care in the pregnancy especially the IVF especially pregnancy so do you think it was comprehensive and what is your take on that it is very nice actually it was very nice that because we know that we the patient load over here is so much because in this center I have Seen that patients are actually coming ki unhone itne saal pehle wahan se karaya tha so that word to mouth patients are so much then you are seeing each and every day different case and if the chitti case ka ye hume aise manage karta hai ye hai to iska ye bhi ho sakta hai to jab tak dekhoge hi nahi to aap seekhoge kaise to this is the best part ki jab aap dekh rahe ho itni cheeze to agar wo hone se pehle aapko wahan pe dikhegi to aap usko pehle hi comprehend kar sakte ho so this is the best part during the antenatal management, especially in the first three months, which I learned from here. Lovely. So all the best for your future, Dr. Shobita, and many congratulations again. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.